How you doing guys and welcome to episode 6 of my Let's Play Hitman series. This is the penultimate episode of the main campaign missions in Hitman. Now for this mission I'll be taking on mission 6, Cetus in Versus, which is set in Hokkaido. As if that name wasn't complicated enough. Anyway, for this mission I'll just be bringing along my standard equipment, which when you play this mission for the first time, that's pretty much all you can do anyway. You can only unlock the options to bring in different pieces of equipment after you've completed this mission so many times and raised your rank. So, with that in mind, I'll just be bringing along my standard equipment to show you how it can be done with just the bare minimum essentials. So, without further ado, let's get to it! Ah, this really is the life. Just lying here, relaxing, reflecting, thinking about all the people that I've murdered in my highly successful career as a silent assassin. Ah, so many fantastic memories. And now, I get to add two more to that list before I retire. Hello, Mr. Okay, let's get to it. The when the game loads up, make your way out of your room. When you do, take a right and head down the corridor. Take the first left towards a ramp and head up to it where we can move towards our first objective, which is to delete any CCTV footage. When you get to the top of a ramp, take a right where you'll be just in front of a security station. Now, although at, in this point of the game, no CCTV cameras will have captured us, but if we delete the footage now, we won't have to worry about it later on. Now, unfortunately, you do need a keycard to get through this, which we don't have. So to bypass that, wait here patiently until the security guard comes outside. Oh, for fuck's sake. How much waiting around have I got to do? This is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, when the security guard comes outside, quickly dock in before the door closes. When you do, immediately enter sneak mode and quickly take out the guard that's in there. Suit up in his clothes and pick up his weapon and then you can drag his body into the next room. Now, it's very important that you do suit up in his disguise first. The reason being is because all these doors are different to other doors you will have come across in any other level. The only way you can open these doors is by wearing the correct disguise. Which means if you wasn't wearing the security card disguise, the door would not open for you. After you've stuffed his body in the container, quickly jump in after him and just wait here patiently. The reason being is because the next security guard in the next room will quickly make a pass to this room first and you don't want him to see you because he will see through your disguise. So wait here patiently until he leaves the security office again. When he has, quickly step out and make your way to the main terminals where you can delete any footage. And there you have it! We've only just started this level, but from now on we don't need to worry about any cameras. Make your way out of a security station and then wait here patiently again until that same security guard makes another pass through the security station. When he does, make your way past him and towards the outside area. Now be careful around here because there are a few people here who will see through your disguise, so just keep a wide berth. Make your way up to the top of the garden areas towards the railings. Wait a minute. What's that? Holy shit! That's a hammer! The greatest invention on this planet! Ah, if I've said this once, I'll say it a thousand times. The hammer is the greatest invention in the history of the world. There is not a single problem on this planet that cannot be solved with a hammer. Don't believe me? Let me demonstrate. This guy right here, he's pissing me off. Look at him standing there with his rake, thinking it's so tough. 
I have a problem with this guy. Now behold, as this problem will now be solved. See what I mean, guys? There is not a single problem on this planet that cannot, and more importantly, should not, be solved with a good old hammer. Ah, they really are magnificent inventions. Anyway, I'm getting a little bit distracted. Instead of picking up the hammer, which we really want to do, instead make your way over to this drain pipe. Start scaling it and drop down all the way to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, climb through the open window where we can work towards getting our next disguise. Take the door directly opposite you, and then take a left. Take the first right where we'll be in the shower room, where we can work towards getting out next to... Holy shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, work that body, baby. Oh yeah. Wait a minute. What the fuck am I saying? You! How dare you! That ought to teach you not to make me have gay thoughts. No, I'm joking, obviously. Now, we can just take the disguise and move on, but because this guy had the nerve to give us gay impressions in our head, let's take him out, just for the fun of it. After you've done that, make sure you hide his body in the nearby container and then suit up in his disguise. After you've done that, make your way back out the same way you came in, and make your way all the way past the canteen area, keep going around, keep heading down the long tunnels until you'll get to the garage area. When you get there, make sure you pick up the wrench which is on the nearby counter in this room. You are going to be needing it later on. Now, this guy right here is a yoga instructor. We want to get hold of his disguise because it will open up an opportunity for us to take out one of our targets. He will have a lengthy phone call. After he's finished, make your way into this area where he will soon follow. When the door closes behind him, quickly take him out. Suit up in his disguise and then drag his body to the top of the stairs. With his body in tow, take the left and drag his body through this door. Now don't worry about the window because it is only one way glass. You can see them but they can't see you. Dump his body in the container and then we can move on. Wait a minute. Holy shit. Oh yeah. Oh, I do love me a nice redhead. Oh yeah. Look at that body. Look at those curves. Oh yeah, baby. You splash water all over yourself. You're so fine. Look at you. In that towel. Playfully splashing around. Just look at that gorgeous skin. Look at those sweat beads slowly dripping down that sexy body of yours. Wait a minute! Oh, for fuck's sake! Not again! How many times has this got to happen to me? This is the absolute last time I'm saying this. I am not gay. You hear me? I am not fucking gay. 
No, I'm joking, obviously. Instead of enjoying a gay peep show, instead, this time make your way back out the same door you came in, but this time head directly opposite you and make your way around. Take the door to the right and we'll be in the area just opposite the sauna room. Make your way over to the valve, which is just to the right of the window, and turn it off. This will increase the water temperature, which will cause all the guests to get out. This will give us some privacy for later on. Now, at this point in the game, there is actually two different ways that we can take out our target. Option number one is to turn around behind you and then make your way over to the terminal which controls the temperature in the sauna. Increase the temperature in the sauna and that will cause the two guys in there to exit the room. Now it's very important you do this because as long as those two guys are in there, our target will not go into that sauna. Because, you know, I guess she likes fucking privacy or something. Anyway, after these two guys have left the sauna, now you just have to play the waiting game. Eventually, our target will make her way through this area and when she sees that the sauna is empty, then she can move on to get her sweat on. When our target finally enters the sauna, who will be completely fully dressed in a skirt as well, no less. Because, you know, that's perfect sauna attire, isn't it? Anyway, make your way out of the door, make your way towards the sauna door, and lock her in. And as you can see, within a few milliseconds, she will instantly die from a slight raise in the temperature. For fuck's sake, that's not even realistic. <sighs> anyway, if it works, it works, right? Anyway, if you don't decide to do it in that fashion, we can move on to option number two of taking down your target. This time, make your way out of a room, and this time you actually have to find your target. Now, our target has a yoga lesson booked, and seeing as how we're wearing the yoga disguise, we can take the place of the instructor and work towards killing her this way. That is Yuki Miss Yamazaki, Yamazaki. former lawyer to the Yakuza and lesson. current operative yes. for Providence. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. Glad you're here. If you will just follow me. After you've got her to follow you, make your way back towards the sauna area. Hope you have everything you need. Take a right to lead her outside, and remember, the coast is clear because we cleared it by raising the temperature earlier. Wait here patiently, and then we can move towards getting our yoga on. Okay, miss. Let's get to it. To now, the first thing I want you to do is turn around, bend over, and shove your ass right up in my face. Let us begin with upward facing dog when you're ready. Oh, yeah, that's a ticky right there. Okay, now the next thing I want you to do is stand on one leg like a complete twat. There, isn't that fun? Now I want you to copy the yoga pose that they used in Grand Theft Auto V. Now switch legs. Now, I want you to pretend you're a fucking tree. Find a good spot for it. Are you sure this is safe? I'm right on the edge. This is madness. Madness, is it? 
This is Sparta! That ought to teach you, you bitch. Wait a minute. Am I the only one that just saw that? That was fucking crazy. Let's rewind and take another look at that. I can't have been seeing things. Holy shit! How the fuck did you do that? How the hell did you just instantly switch directions in mid-air? Clearly you are a witch. Clearly you have magical powers. Explain your witchcraft to me at once. Oh, that's right, you can't. Because you're fucking dead. Anyway, both of those methods are extremely effective and it's completely up to you whichever one you take. After you've done that, make your way outside this door here. Continue the exact same way that you came to get to this point. When you head back into the garage, again take the exact same corridor and keep making your way all the way around past the stamp canteen and make your way all the way back to the shower room where we got our previous disguise. After you've done that, suit up in your previous disguise and let's move on. Make your way back out the room, but this time take a right. Take the door directly opposite you, which will take us to an outdoor balcony. Make your way all the way around and take the first door to the right. Now, there is a guard in here that we'll see through our disguise, but luckily for us, the guy is sleeping, so we don't have to worry about him. Make your way completely opposite him, equip your wrench, and then take him out. After you've done that, pick up his weapon and hide his body in the locker. Now it's very important that you do pick up his weapon because we are going to be luring someone back here in a while and you don't want your weapon lying around because that will raise suspicion. After you've done that, head outside and take a right. Take the staircase all to the top where you will see a helicopter right in front of us. Now the doctor that's just coming out right now, we need to get our hands on his disguise. Unfortunately, he won't come any further than that, so we're gonna have to be a little bit creative to get our hands on his disguise. Now the person he's talking to, the helicopter pilot, just also happens to be his drug dealer, so we can get it that way. After the helicopter pilot has sold him some drugs, he will make his way to his secret stash to refill up. Now his secret stash is in the exact same room that we were just in where we took out the security guard and that's why it's very important that you take those two steps first. We are going to need privacy for this. After he makes his way in the room, follow after him and then take him out as well. Suit up his disguise and then hide his body in the exact same locker that we put the security guard in earlier. After you've done that, head back out and make your way back up to the helicopter and stand in front of it and wait patiently for the doctor. Now, you may have to wait here a while, or if you're lucky, you could come pretty quickly. It's completely random, so just wait here patiently until your time arrives. A 
How you doing, boys? You good? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just standing here. For no reason whatsoever. Nothing to be suspicious about. Anyway, eventually the doctor will come out. Because, you know, it's been a whole two minutes until his last fix. And he must be starting to get the shakes by now, I suppose. Nails, I, uh, need another pill. Hello there, pilot. The effect is waning. This way, doctor. I'll show you where my stash is. Hey, I get it. You're not an errand boy. Lead the way. After speaking to the doctor and making him agree to follow you, take him to the exact same room that you took out the security guard and the pilot earlier. There you go, mate. All the drugs in the world, just for you. Help yourself. Knock yourself out, friend. Have all the fun in the world. I'm fine. I can... <laughs> that ought to teach you drug habit. Anyway, when he's unconscious, suit up in his disguise. Now, we're not going to be able to put his body in the locker because they can only hold two people. But don't worry about it because nobody else will come in this room. After you've done that, make your way back up to where the helicopter is. Now we want to go in this entrance right here, but there is a guard who will see for our disguise. So instead of going that way, take a left directly opposite the staircase and head towards this side entrance right here. Take the door directly opposite you. And when you're outside, take a right and head all the way towards the staircase, which is to the right. Make your way down one floor and when you get outside, take a right. And there you have it, we're on the other side of a door with no problems. Now be careful in here because there are some still guards that will see through our disguise. Doctor, how are you? When you're ready, make your way through this door right here. Again, be careful, there are some doctors who will see through your disguise. Make your way through this little booth here where we can start our operation. Okay mate, let's uh, start the protocol. First I'll just uh, turn on this robotic arm. Yep, all looking good. Now I'm just going to uh, inject it with some cardiac. Yep, everything's looking good. Now to fix you and make you all better. Oh. Um. Whoopsie daisy. Anyway, with both targets dead, we can get the hell out of here. Now, don't leave this room straight away because the two doctors who can see through your disguise will be making their way through. Wait till they're out of the room and then continue moving forward. Take a right and then wait patiently until the guard moves away. When he has, make your way back up the exact same staircase that you came down earlier. Take a left and head towards the exact same side door that we came in earlier. When you've done that, take a right and head up towards the cliff. Keep making your way up along the cliff where we can complete the mission and get the hell out of here. And there you have it guys, mission accomplished with a 5 star ranking and Silent Assassin. Never spotted, no notice kill, no bodies found and no recordings. I really all hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making them and hopefully I'll see you for my next part in these videos where I'll be taking on the DLC missions Patient Zero. I hope to see you for that guys and I'll see you next time.